Hello, I'm going to talk about cellular re re rejuvenation. And the reason it's important to talk about that is because we need to understand how cells that are growing old can reverse that trajectory. If we understand that, then we can appreciate some of the newer treatments that are coming down the line to reverse aging or stop it in its tracks. Cells rejuvenate by throwing out the garbage. When they do that, they have younger protein in the cells, younger organelles, and they can maintain their youth. And with that, they can divide. This is very important in particular for stem cells. Stem cells are present in each of our tissues in our body. If we didn't have stem cells, we couldn't replenish the cells in our organs. Can you imagine our skin? which replenishes every 30 days, or our intestinal lining, which replenishes every week. We need our stem cells to stay young. How do those stem cells get rid of the garbage? They do that in three ways. Number one, they divide asymmetrically. And in that way, one cell keeps the young proteins and the cell which is dividing off takes all the old and mature protein, asymmetric division, so that one cell, one cell stays young. The second way cells get rid of the garbage is they create spherical garbage bins called vesicles. Those vesicles encapsulate old denatured protein, old mitochondria, and so on. And the vesicles are then gathered around in the cytoplasm with a membrane. And this membrane, which encloses all the garbage bins in the cell, is called a multivesicular body. And this multi multivesicular body fuses with the plasma membrane and then eject all the garbage bins out of the cell. That's the second way that cells get rid of the garbage. The third way that cells get rid of the garbage is that they have incinerators. One is called a proteasome, which is a large protein complex, which is like a tunnel, which grabs all the old proteins, digests them, and throws them back into the cytoplasm to be used for something else. Another incinerator is called a lysosome, and this lysosome is a spherical compartment that houses very acidic fluids as well as enzymes. And this mixture, again, digests all the old stuff and recycles it for the cell to use. Through those through mechanisms, cells can rejuvenate. It's fair to ask though, why then do we have aging? The reason we have aging is because aging cells beget aging. And as cells age, each of those processes I talked about become less efficient and effective. And the cell then becomes more likely to grow older and more likely to produce older proteins, which when they are discharged outside the cell can induce aging in surrounding tissues. It's a tragedy. However, young cells, on the other hand, beget youth. And young cells also discharge proteins out of the cell, but the proteins they are discharging are young. And those induce youth in the surrounding tissues. Scientists are making use of that and looking at therapies where they can take the bins from young cells inject them into an old person and induce youth in the cells of the old person or using drugs that destroy the old cells. When do you destroy, destroy the old cells? By therapies called senolytics, you have a good chance for the organis organism to stay young. In the article and in the post, that you can read with diagrams, I discuss many of those processes 
in which cells rejuvenate as well as some of the research that scientists are doing to help reverse aging or stop it in its tracks.